Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Francis Weller. We begin your news this evening with a lottery story out of Brunswick County, but it's probably not what you're thinking. In this lottery, you don't win millions. Instead, parents get the chance to send their child to a school uh, that to them may be priceless. Emotional moms and dads crowded the charter school in Leland today to play the odds. WCT's Casey Roman joins us now live in the studio with more on that. Casey? Fran, picture tears, hoorays, sobbing, and smiles. No, it's not the first day of class. It's lottery day at Charter Day School, grades K through 8. In a very tight room, I sat with a group of parents who were biting their nails, waiting to hear their child's name called. Noah Whaley. Jody Lehman. Michael Green. Montana Williams. Madison Albertson. It's exciting for the people that get in. Shay Copper. They got in school. Aiden Field. It's heartbreaking for the people that don't. Michael Green. Lotteries are very bittersweet. For every hand that goes yay, there's three hands that, that go to their face and, and tears. Spencer Knight. Watching the parents' anxiety levels and the disappointment. Caitlin Prosser. I've just never seen anything like that. I wish I could say it was a good day, but I knew there were 150 of them that were going to go away uh, disappointed. Prosser. 240 applicants for 90 coveted student spaces at Roger Bacon Academy's Charter Day School. I was doing the math in my head as for the odds. I don't think it's right that a parent's ch child should be forced to engage in a lottery to determine their, uh, their educational future. But unless the new generation of North Carolina lawmakers lifts the cap on charter schools, there will only be 100 in the state and space will stay tight. I, know, I kind of went into this thinking, of course you'll get in. We love Sarah. You want the difference for your child and you may or may not have that choice and that's, that's, that's sad. Liz Soller's little girl came up last on the waiting list. I'm frustrated, frustrated that I don't have the choice. Everyone has the choice to go to a charter school. They're public schools with the same standards and types of funding, but with freedom in their curriculum and class size. And they want their kids to have a real shot. They don't want to be relegated to what you see is what you get. Uh, in the traditional public school system. They wanted an option. An option that legislators promised to expand in their first 100 days. Too, too many is too short for some. My heart goes out to everybody because if you're here, you care. If you're here, you came to stake a claim in the future of your child's education and left with an emotional lesson on the lottery and education legislation. Charter Day says there are two big myths about charter schools. One, they can't cherry pick children from public schools, it's a random lottery, and two, that they're a drain on public schools. They say that can't be true because they are a public school.